So I was scrolling on Twitter after a session of grinding bitter black IO level 3 weapons and I came across a tweet from Shin Cry Monster Hunter. This graph is from the Steam reviews for Monster Hunter Rise and if you continue to refresh it, it goes even worse. <laughs> The reason why is that Capcom decided to add Enigma DRM into the game's files, which makes modding impossible on Monster Hunter Rise. And the results are so hilarious. Capcom wants to ban mods, but they banned users from using the Steam Deck to run their games. They have actually identified the issue, but the damage has already been done. Hold on, wait for it. Of his head. <laughs> Ultimately, I feel like not using mods is pretty fine by me. Some mods are actually cheating and I agree with not using them. However, most mods are like quality of life updates, adding custom monsters, etc. Capcom tends to forget that most modders are also passionate fans that love the game to death and mods are a way for them to express their love and dedication to the series. By removing mods, Capcom's just basically giving a middle finger to essentially a big part of their fan base. But the reason they ban mods is that they keep losing money thanks to cosmetic mods being in the game. Just look at the recent Spy Family crossover with Street Fighter 6. They made a very well polished trailer hyping the event and they defecated with this shit. Other examples are Devil May Cry 5 Red Orbs and Resident Evil 4 Remix Microtransactions. With Monster Hunter being their largest selling franchises, it isn't very far-fetched to say that they will add a shit ton of microtransactions into Monster Hunter Wilds, more than Iceborne and Sunbreak combined. I feel like at the end of the day no one actually cares about this since Monster Hunter Rise got affected by it and not World. It's sad to see that Rise can't catch a break, but someone has to bear the brunt. Capcom's reputation is definitely spiraling down after this incident. And I expect massive review bombings for games, both past and future. I don't think boycotting ever works on video games, but rather boosts the sales of said game. That being said, what can you take away from the video? Capcom is being run by a bunch of circus clowns, and my response to them? You fucking donkey!